like Uno. I do not like Uno. What the fuck's wrong? You don't with like you? Uno. I we did it on like After Uno. Dark, and you Who having fun. Like Uno? Okay, Uno's like fun for like the first five minutes, and then you have that game that runs on for like way too fucking long, and you're just like, can can this just end? Skill issue. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not. It's not Sounds a skill issue. Like you're an amateur. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's yeah. Like, like I said, you have that game that runs on. I mean, it happened in the fucking After Dark stream where we had that game that ran for like forty minutes. Or yeah, but that was shit. funny. <laughs> Like you, 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 you guys were having fun with that. I, I, I was like, I am. Um, my mind is melting right now. I feel like only I like I, too I, many I, numbers and colors. <laughs> what do I, I do? I feel like I needed to use more neurons in my brains. You played um, Uno, uh, D- DOS. I, I have yes. <laughs> What's DOS? It's the sequel to Uno. <laughs> it's so good. Is, they is, that, is that a joke? No, no, it's, it's an actual game. It's real. Yeah, it's no, real. Know, like, this is a shit post I'm hearing right now. No, it's, it's, real. Real. it's real. It's a real what, game. What, you can what play. are the rules of the game? I don't know. I, I haven't played it. What's the rules? <laughs> I don't know. I was really drunk when I played it. <laughs> it's basically just like Uno, I think, except like the, the, like the numbers are different. You have to say it. Yeah. You have to say DOS. <laughs> yeah, you get rid of like two cards of the guy or some, uh, something. I don't know. Let's what's, see, yeah, DOS card game. I, I just remember it looked funny. I was like, oh, it's blue. <laughs> Cause the blue, you know, you know it's red and black. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. complete rules for DOS card game. Is it, could they just say if there's a difference? Why? If Uno means one, then DOS means two. Thank oh, you. That's great. <laughs> I, did they really need to make, that felt like an unnecessary sequel. <laughs> felt like Uno was k- crushing it. Yeah. Did we really need another? But Uno, Uno I, Attack I liked. The one Uno Attack, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was more that was a bit more gameplay to I like the that one. Okay, yeah. so here we go. Like Uno, you have to discard your cards by matching the cards in the center, but in DOS you can only match them by number. Right. So mm-hmm. the numbers need to be matched first, then only the color is noted. So that's, basically it's like a harder version of Uno. Jesus Christ. That's never gonna take off. Which is like, <laughs> why do you need a separate game for that when you can just add, implement some that role into some, Uno? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Some people just think the, sk- the skill ceiling isn't high enough on it. You know? So that's, that's kind of made it for real you know, ranked gamers. Of Uno. <laughs> that's ranked Uno. It's ranked, ranked Uno. 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 Uh, you wouldn't understand. It's, it's for people with intelligence. Yeah, I'm, I'm, All right. <laughs> You need a certain number of IQ to play DOS. Yeah. <laughs> Someone, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping they didn't put too much effort into making the rules for that because that was obviously never going to, that was never going to take. I can off. see why no one's played this fucking game. <laughs> yeah. I don't know anyone who's played DOS. Again, I played it once. I don't remember playing it though. I, I think I just played it as Uno. Who bought the deck? Uh, I was in. Uh, no, you know where it was. It was at the Final Fantasy Cafe. Uh-huh. And because next to it, they have a board game cafe yeah. and they had DOS there. Yeah. And I was yeah. like, what the hell is this? And that was the first time I <laughs> saw it. Final <laughs> Fantasy Cafe? No, next to the Final oh, Fantasy oh, okay. Cafe, there's a board game cafe. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Final Fantasy Cafe. You wanna play DOS? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can play it in Final Fantasy 14, actually. It's like triple triad, right? But different. I get that reference now. I played a Final Fantasy game. <laughs> I know. He finally gets it after you finally completed Final yeah. Fantasy VIII. I did, yeah, I played a Final Fantasy game. How was it? Did you it was good, it? yeah, I liked it. Yeah. I liked it. Um, I, everyone told me I played the worst one. How, how did you play the worst yeah, one? Yeah, everyone said that's the worst one. Who says it's the worst one? A lot of people told me it's one of the worst uh, ones. Probably seven fans said that shit. They said that, well, yeah. I, 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 the reason, when they tell me why it was bad, I was like, yeah, I agree with you. So Final Fantasy VIII um, is, you know, has a traditional turn-based combat similar to the other Final Fantasies, yep. I, I, mm-hmm. I assume. Mm. Except they added this system called drawing. Mm. Uh, so to get spells, you have to like absorb them from enemies. That mm-hmm. is the worst part of it. You game. can't get <laughs> yeah. them. And then you're like, you're, like, let's say your magic power is assigned to how many of those abilities you have. Right. So if you only drain like two of those spells, you only get like two. So you, uh, more often than not, you just end up sitting there in fights yeah. and just heal, healing your team and just absorbing yeah. for like ages. Right. It's, it's shit. <laughs> but the game was fun though, and I did enjoy the the, the story. Yeah, did, you, story. did you skip the cutscenes? Uh, you can't. Um, <laughs> I didn't. I liked it. I thought it was fun. The story in eight is yeah. fantastic. Yeah. I, I got. I was like, I feel like I've played so many JRPGs in like that's cap. Uh, <laughs> because like I I. Uh, let me, uh, how do I, I, mean, I should rephrase that. Yeah. I feel like I've experienced many JRPGs just because- Name five. <laughs> just because, just because I've, I've had that thing where it's like, okay, we will mission one, save the dog. Final mission, kill God, go back in time, save 15 people, kill another dog, and then come back and then reset the universe. Like what the fuck? 
That's the greatest part of JRPG. That, yeah. And I feel like that's every single JRPG I've played. Like that's end of like you always go back in time and kill someone. Yeah, or, but that's like saying like every FPS is just like mission one, shoot the man. Yeah. No, no, final, no, no, final no, no, mission, no. A shoot everyone. There's a difference between just like go to your village and get some flour for the bread and then go back in time and, and stab him in the heart. And it's yeah, like, that's oh, why okay. it's epic. Cause like, it starts whoa. it starts off low and then the expectation builds. Yeah, but it kind of got like, I mean, it, I'm sure back in the day, cause this was a, a 1999, game, I think. PS1, on yeah, PS1. yeah, PS1. This would have been a mind blowing experience, mm. but I was like, God damn, do we really need to go to space? <laughs> like, can we yes, not? the answer is can yes. We <laughs> every, every Japanese like fiction, <laughs> yep. every, every Japanese piece of fiction media is like, and now we will end with space. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the trigger effect. The trigger it's effect. just like, how do we finish this epic fantasy story? Space. Space. Anybody, it's always, it's always anybody, space. Anybody it's space? always up no in the sky. It's yeah. always up space. in the sky. Uh, but I enjoyed it. Uh, I thought that, you know, um, it was decent. How it long did decent. it take you to complete? Of gameplay? 30 hours? Oh, that's pretty sure. That's quite quick. That's actually. That's, that's, that's pretty, what fucking world are you living in? Well, for, sure. for a JRPG, for Final hours. Fantasy, yeah, that's, that's really That's actually sure. quite quick for a I JRPG. thought you would be playing for at least 50 hours. What the yeah. fuck? Did you have any like accelerators on or anything like that? Or? Yeah, the game has times three built in. Oh, yeah, okay, that, that makes sense. Yeah. I well, think, I think times the, three by all well, of the- Well, it's always times three, but yeah. during the, you know, when you're drawing these abilities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when I, I played eight the first time, I took at least 50 hours. Holy fuck, the walking speed around the overworld on times three was just, was like, okay, this is nice. And then I turned it off. I was like, this is unbearable. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is how like, like fucking Honkai fans feel when they finally discover there's a normal speed. <laughs> when, like, like yeah. wait, why, why is it in slow-mo? Um, it's yeah. like in Pokemon when you learn how to run finally. It's just like, oh my God, finally, <laughs> normal think, speed. I don't know if this is like a strictly like this game's problem, but mm -hmm. I, another a thing that I, I and I, and I think, I think a lot of video games do this in general. Mm -hmm. They assume you have played video games, right? Yeah. Okay. So like when you go on a first person shooter, they just assume you have played other first person shooters. Yeah. Right. right? Like there's just things that they don't tell you and mm. they just assume you're like, oh, you know what you're doing. Mm. Yeah. Go on and point the gun and shoot. Yeah. You know, you know that the if, if this mass button's to click, we don't need to tell you the other mass <laughs> buttons to aim. You know that. Same with the triggers. Like you just like there's a bunch of things they just think you know. Mm. And I realized that Final Fantasy just assumes you know how to do RPG stuff. And I yeah. got in this menu and I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> and they start telling you like, press this, do this. And I'm like, this is too much, stop, stop. <laughs> so for the first five hours of the game, I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I just, <laughs> I just sure did not understand the menus because it's too much. Yeah, It's like, you got to assign this character this and then uh, put, Welcome he is, to JRPGs. Yep. Yeah. Do Assigning the, summons. They're like, well. yeah. And then like, they're like, oh, assign the summons. Then what are summons you assign? Uh, allow them to pick from these abilities and yep. these abilities, let them do this, but are you going to get to pick three abilities. three abilities? And then they have uh, abilities that are tied to their offensive, defense, and uh, <clears throat> I guess other offensive, but it's not their other, they, but they have a completely other stat for like offensive stuff as well. And you're like, mm -hmm. what the fuck is this? What happened to, what the hell? And people were like, uh, yeah, it seems pretty standard to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then I just, luckily there was an auto optimize button. So I would just click that and I was like, that's good enough. And we were like, no, what are you doing? And I was like, all right, listen, I don't, I don't get joy And you, you, st you still completed the game, which is the important that, thing. That I, is I'm true. exactly yeah. the same. Everyone yeah. acts like JRPGs are impossible if you don't do like the perfect one frame optimization. No. And, so, and it's like, dude, these games no. are beaten by like five-year-olds. Yeah. It's not- hard. I want an auto button for every JRPG, honestly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, the, I think if you have like, I, I think, Final Fantasy I enjoyed and and towards the end of it, you know, the menuing kind of got a little more fun as I got really into it. Mm. Yeah. But that that was like, I'm talking like 15 hours in. Yeah. 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 That's, and I'm halfway through the goddamn game mm. before I started getting like, oh, this is kind of fun to theory craft and kind of think. But I think it's just too much. It's like, I think I spent 40% of my game time in a menu. Yeah, because I think like it was for, just too much for me. Like I've had, that kind of those kinds of moments where I'm like, are you, you know, there's there's something magical about figuring out You're like, game well, mechanics. I this, and, then I, and I try this combination. Yeah. And yeah. in this fight, I hit him with this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. because I'm that type of guy who, you know, in the first, like sometimes, you know, JRPGs, their tutorials are uh, like last eight hours long. So yeah, like, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. Like you're still getting introduced something eight hours into the gameplay. Um, and I'm, I'm that motherfucker who reads something and then, just like- It's goes, gone, yeah. It's yeah. gone, it's gone. Like, I'm like, uh, so this does this and I like see the words and I process it. 
but then it doesn't like stick with me. I, I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I do that too. I'm that kind of guy who needs to see like cause and effect. Yeah, you know? I, I yeah, need yeah. to try it out. I need yeah, to like yeah. put this ability on, yeah, yeah, hit yeah. someone yeah. with it, be like, no. Yeah, the amount of times like I've been like streaming, like, you know, recently, of course, like Honkai. Like, no, I've, 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 I've got on a character and I'm like, let me, let me read what the skill does. And chat tells me what the skill does. And I, I, I'm like, oh, I get it. I don't get it. Oh. <laughs> See, I'll, I'll read it. I'll read it and I'll be like, can someone tell me in, it, in simpler English? They're like, it's good or it's bad. It goes yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, thanks guys. Equip yeah. it or don't equip yeah. it. <laughs> and then I go into battle and then sometimes I die and I'm like, oh, okay, I get it now. Yeah. You know? And one thing I've, I've, I've always hated about some JRPGs and, and I guess this is the problem is that sometimes like, like, you know, I was complaining, they give me too much information. Mm. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck is this? And then the bane of my existence when you're reading an ability and you're like, will cause a slight increase to, to critical strike chance. And you're like, can you give me a number? <laughs> like, cause slight could be from anywhere between 0 0.1 to like 10. Yeah. And and one one percent to ten percent is a massive difference here. We're like, this is the difference between this just being a random once in a fucking blue moon one play run or one, one playthrough chance it'll happen, or this will happen fairly often in battle. And I'm like, yeah. it's pissing me off that it doesn't. It, it'll literally, it'll literally tell me the cock length of every, every character when I when I ch choose them and the every hair follicle amount they have left. But it won't tell me the goddamn fucking abilities, like actual information that I need. I think it's because no one's expecting people to use that item is like a crutch for, yeah. the, for their gameplay. You know, they just think right. like, oh, it's just like an added bonus. Right, right. If it happens, cool. If it doesn't, hey, it's all right. I got these other shit, you know? Yeah, like uh, what game was I playing? Where it was like, oh, um, if I used, oh, which fucking game was it? Mm -hmm. There's a game like if I use like, oh, it was like Ring Fit. This is it, yeah, mm -hmm. Ring Fit. Right. I was playing Ring Fit and it was like, if you use a red ability after I unlock this thing on the skill tree, it's like, there's a, there's a chance it'll cause another free attack. And I was like, oh, chance. What does that mean? What would you consider a chance to be? Don't, you should never ask a guy that, that, that question. Fucked? Isn't that fucked? It's like, <laughs> He's gonna say 0 0.05. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I'm like 0.05%. Like, if, if you were dead ass in a game, right? It was a turn-based combat. And yeah. they said, yeah. if you use a fire ability and you, and you have this point unlocked, you have a chance to get another one. Maybe 10%. Yeah, what would you, yeah, I didn't know what number to magically mm. pull out my ass mm. to yeah. like decide what this would be. I thought, 10% or 20%, because that's what a chance sounds like to yeah, me. Yeah. Yeah. Chance sounds like, listen now, don't get your hopes up, but it'll happen. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know. And so I was like, okay, cool. I went the whole fucking game and I didn't get one. And I was like, see, that's, see that, that's fucked. Because I went through the skill tree to get that chance. Because yeah. I read it and I thought, oh, that sounds strong. Yeah. Like an extra turn, that's great. Yeah. And then it must've been like 1%. And I'm like, that's or you so just annoying. Got really fucking unlucky. Yeah, yeah. I, I, either way, I wish that like they gave me a number, and it's mm. like the one time, the one time I want a number, they don't give me the fucking number. But wouldn't it have pissed you off more if you saw that number? And if it was like instead of chance, if it said like you have a one percent. No, I, I'd love that because then I can be like, that's absolute garbage. I can immediately not even entertain right. that. Like, I, can, I can just go straight past it. Uh. Yeah. Um, and there was also, I, the one thing I always enjoyed, um, cause I, I did play some JRPGs or RPGs when I was a kid. And I always enjoyed those like weird little, like fun little Easter eggs you could run into where you're like, go right here and then do this thing and you'll find this crazy boss. And you're mm. like, oh, that's cool. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, and they had, I've had plenty of those. It was fun. Yeah, it's, it's interesting when you mention like the kind of like the kind of assumptions when it comes to like approaching a video game or just a video game yeah. genre. I remember seeing like a pretty interesting video like about this. About, yeah, yeah, the yeah. ones where, I can't remember the name of the video, it's but it was the one the, where the guy got his wife oh, yeah, or yeah. girlfriend, wife, I'm not sure which one, to, who has zero, basically zero experience with video games and got her oh, to play yeah, yeah, yeah. a bunch of video games and see how intuitive like the video game was mm. for this person who has zero experience. No, they're not very. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> they're not <laughs> and you, very and, yeah. and you realize how ingrained the, the language of video games are in your mind, mm. right? Yeah. And make, it makes me think about just how ingrained every kind of piece of UI or computer is like, you know, when you're teaching your grandma to be like, how does this not make sense? If you yeah. get an error message, it means this and you have to click this. Uh, and it's just like the simplest thing that you've kind of just internalized mm. um, that you take for granted that might, if you have zero experience with it, uh, you wouldn't know because we've had a very lucky kind of like journey to be able to see video games, experience video games at their simplest and be able to like, I guess, grow up mm. with it and mm. be, and slowly learn the language little bit by little bit. 
Yeah, um, sure. Because I remember the first time I think I experienced this was like playing a Souls, like a Soulsborne game mm, mm. and just not oh, knowing yeah. Oh, yeah. what the rules are at all. Mm. I'm like, where are the tutorials? <laughs> where is the things that tells me what the mechanics are, where mm. to do, what to do? And I thought, you know, first time I played, I was, I was like, this is shit. Uh, it's, it's not telling me anything. How, yeah. how can I, how, how am I supposed to play the game? But, you know, when you realize that sense of discovery, of discovering mechanics for yourself and discovering the little things that maybe the devs have put in there that weren't in a tutorial stage, that to me is way fucking better than giving me eight hours of menus and tutorial screens to be like, you can do this for this and you can do that for that. Mm. And I'm not gonna internalize that anyway. And I'm like, I'm no. sure. I'm sure I'll figure it out somewhere along the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, it just sucks. I, had a, I felt like I figured it out halfway through the game. I was like, okay, I, I think I get it. But now. that's uh, to, that's that, to me. That's that's when I've normally figured out. I, that's normally when I've had that magic moment. I that's I think that's why it, it always takes me like so long to get into a new video game. Mm. Is because I've I I really start figuring things out around like eight to fifteen hours through my gameplay. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. So because fun. I'm a story gamer, so Classic I never. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm a story gamer, so I never go in for the mechanics. So I'm like, what? What are these fucking bullshit things in the way of my story? Yeah. I don't give a shit about that. Just give me like the auto thing, and then halfway through, maybe by normally it's like by complete chance, mm. something cool happens that I don't plan for. I, I've done do unintentionally. I'm like, yeah. yo, what? What the fuck was that? Mm. That was actually mm. really cool, actually. And mm. then that's when I that's when a game goes from a good game to a game like I become obsessed mm. with. Yeah. Um, if it can just sell me on the mechanics, like, True. accidentally as well.